everyone. I am Atul Gosavi from the batch of COP 2016. I was a secretary of a COP chess team and a part of Z Sport event. And today I will be the host of Sport Deck Session 2 COP Z series, which we have started. And on the occasion of International Chess Day, uh, today our guest is the prominent chess player W M Rucha Pujari. She needs no introduction. She has already achieved the two women grandmaster norms and only one step away to complete the title of women grandmaster along with this she has also a recipient of shiv chhatrapati rajya krida puraskar so without a further ado let's get started and let's connect with the rucham hello hi uh, hi rucham ma'am how are you i'm good welcome and wish you a very happy international chess day yes today is a great day for all of us so on this occasion yes. i would like to wish all the chess players and the chess fans all around the world a very happy chess day yeah thank you thank you so much so like uh, since it is a lockdown from the last three four months here so how is has been going for you because you are like used to playing outside tournaments and now you are stuck at home yes the situation is quite bad all around the world but uh, we all are part of it so we cannot complain but fortunately for chess it is possible to shift this game temporarily online and uh, that's what we have been doing as players that participating in tournaments and keep the training going on and it's also a great thing that you organized this chess event this year online and not skipping it entirely so it's a great event and uh, good luck yeah thank you so much uh rucham ma'am like uh, can we check with your bandwidth please like your image is very blur okay uh, yeah so she is back again okay i hope this time it is bit better uh yeah but yeah, likewise some more improvement no problem <laughs> so like we are all excited to know about your life journey throughout what is your chess career and all so to begin with like uh, what motivates you to join chess like what is the story behind joining the chess as a game okay so it's been a very long story so i started playing chess when i was 6 years old and that time my brother he introduced me to this game and i really liked playing chess because it really excited me to play the games because it, this game is so beautiful and also the part of winning and creating something new uh, in all the games so from that time i have been playing continuously and professionally and uh, it's been a very long journey and still this game is so beautiful that it motivates me every day to work on it and get better at it every day Yeah, uh, right. So as you said, you started playing chess since you were six, and at that time, like we are very small to take a decision to consider any game to bring a, become a, like a success for our life, right? And like there are your friends, they must be playing some outdoor games, and you are with the chess. So how you manage to choose the game among all other games your friends were playing, and you are like to go with chess. Yes that is true that we uh, like to do so many things i also have different hobbies and i also tried some things before knowing that chess is for me uh, but it was easier for me because uh, i really liked this game from the very beginning and it has been my passion to play this game and i started playing at the age of 6 and won my first nationals at age of 7 so it really motivated me and and from that year i have been Reading in India in this uh, Asian Youth and World Youth events, then later the Junior World Championships also. So uh, I liked this journey that uh, it became easier when you are doing something good and it rewards you back. So yes, um, it was not a decision but a journey that chose me. Yeah, true. Like it's great to hear. Yeah, you are represented. Uh, like. India in many national events. So, as you said, uh, you won a uh, national event at the age of seven. So, how do you feel like? 
this was your first achievement as a national winner yes that was a very happy moment that i uh, won at the age of 7 but really i was too small to understand what i have achieved and after that uh, so far i have almost 16 national titles and um, almost five commonwealth medals and i think six seven asian medals and a um, lot of other achievements as well yeah that's that's really great and like you have actually maybe i can show you I, am, i have all my trophies right here behind me so maybe you can take a look <laughs> uh, yeah and also that's i have great, here my great. international medals right here these, these are, are all your international medals yes these are of asian world and commonwealth medals oh and that's some really more nice. here yes <laughs> <laughs> of course that's why you are wm and you have to so much of height in this field no yes. wonder yeah, yeah. so uh, like uh, it's like very long journey till the wm right like people nowadays we know uh, some people at the feet of 2200 rating 2200 rating but they are still not able to complete that norm to become to earn that title and you earn two titles which is wfm at very early age no wonder and now uh, recently you got wm and now you are heading towards wgm right so like what is the journey behind that title and how differently you are preparing from others who are not able to achieve that so what message and journey you can share with us yes it was a, a very uh, difficult journey and also need a lot of efforts and lot of sacrifice to achieve uh, these things not only winning tournaments but achieving the titles and uh, every norm uh, needs lot of uh, like lot of work and it was not easy now people see that i am a woman international master and uh, for those who don't know chess it means that we have to make three norms and before i achieved this norm i also missed a lot of norms so it's not easy i almost missed it for missed it like four or five times only then i was able to achieve the last one and now recently i achieved my second woman grandmaster norm and i really want to finish my title soon but uh, we we are seeing that the situation change completely and my weight has a little bit more but that does not mean i'm giving up on it and i'm just waiting that situation becomes normal and we can go back to playing again uh, yeah sure and we wish the same even we can you can see in comments that people are wishing you that you should be in a world top 10 soon Yes, yeah, so thank you so much uh, for wishing me and giving me your things to me, because that yeah. is very important to have this support uh, from everybody, from the family, from our friends, and everybody, because we need to have this positive um, thoughts, positive support to achieve uh, and go ahead. So thank you, everybody, for uh, wishing. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Best of luck for this, and uh, like. Do you mind, like, if you want to share some most memorable moments, like you feel, like, uh, maybe it be you have, like, been a some foreign tour and you made some favorite player, or you win some unexpected game. So, like, you like to share some few incidences like this. Yes, there are many. Um, I had a lot of memorable moments in my uh, professional chess life. uh but right now i would say that uh, i would choose one of the most recent ones that i played in uh, february in uh, moscow and uh, in the end i was able to achieve the women grandmaster norm and played the most um, amazing chess of my career so far but also it was extremely difficult because i was very ill during that time and uh, uh it was very tough because i was suffering and um, i i don't i wanted to leave the tournament in the middle but still i was uh, pushing myself every day to go there and play and i think um there are a lot of stories and i think that it's most important that we uh, push ourselves more and get up and these things matter 
a lot when you are playing tournaments the persistence and uh, especially the last rounds where everything depends on one game or two games and in such situations we need to be strong and i have a lot of tournaments where i was able to achieve uh, the medals because of the strength i had in last one round or two rounds and able to win this so uh, chess taught me a lot of things and uh, because of that also it made me a good human being i learned a lot of lot of uh, things first to be a human being then be a sports person and then uh, everything else all right so that's actually very inspiring that even if you are you are ill and you still able to achieve the second grand master very very nice so like uh, there are some comments we are saying like you are still blur for it so is it any chance possibility that you can improve your connection um i don't know i tried everything okay, um no maybe can you send me request instead or uh yeah already sending you the request but that's fine like our communication is good but only the video is not okay, that because important. on my uh, phone screen i see perfect uh, both of us Okay, so okay. no problem. Sure. Let's so moving ahead. Like as you know, like chess need a lot of dedicated time to practice on, right? But along yeah. with the chess, uh, like we know, as we know, you are still able to manage the study as well. So how you are able to achieve the both education as well as chess? Yes, it uh, it is because and that for I. For those who don't know anything about your. Hello. Yes. Ah yes, ma'am. So for those who don't know about the qualification, you can also brief it out for them. Yes. Okay. It is because that I from uh, from the very beginning, uh, since I was kid, I always believe that whatever I do, I have to be good at it. Like uh, even if I play chess or even if I'm studying, no matter what I choose, I have to be good at it, or else there is no point in um, doing it. so even when i was kid i was missing school so much because of my chess tournaments i missed um, as i told you i started from age of 6 so let's say from first standard i was missing school almost 6 7 months every year and it was very difficult to catch up because um, uh, it was difficult because i was very young and i had to teach myself i had to read but i never missed any of the things i never missed any single assignment or any single uh, project in my school and uh, even uh, i was in the top uh, always top 3 in the school oh. and uh, in also in also 10th i was in the merit list even in 12th and uh, i recently finished my masters in literature and i was in the top 5 in the university as well for that so yes and i think that also chess helped me very much because um i was playing uh, from a very long time it helped me improve concentration and focus so when i was reading my um my academics even the books i was able to grasp it very easily so even when studying i used to read it just once and able to uh, understand it and um remember it so i think it's because of the work i put in chess it also helped me in academics and um this is also been proved scientifically these days that um learning chess also helps in academics and i had a personal um experience about it and i would like to say this on this platform to everybody that uh, it's a good idea to uh, learn kids uh, it's a good idea to tell the kids to start learning chess even from the beginning um because it helps you and even if you don't play professionally or even if you don't play tournaments it will really reflect on your uh, academics and also on your character yeah that's great so it seems like uh, you are on the top wherever you go so that's great like we all got to know about your journey so we now deep dive our conversation regarding the chess focus like uh, in uh, you have played a lot of games like hundreds of millions of games but like whom do you consider the very difficult opponent like one or two game you found that that was extremely tough 
and you still able or managed to win it? Um, it's a very broad question because yeah. uh, there are so many players. Uh, I can't choose single one, but it depends what kind of tournaments I'm playing. Uh, if I'm playing in nationals, then the opponents are different. If I'm playing in open tournaments, the opponents are different. So I consider one game at a time. So uh, the next round opponent I choose uh, to focus on. And um, yeah, every time I'm playing tournament, I like to prepare. So for every game, I prepare a few hours before, study all the opponents. And uh, I don't consider all the opponents like, I don't consider someone to be a difficult opponent, just that uh, if it's the case, I should be more better. That's what I feel. And um, yes, it depends. It's a very broad question. Yeah, so that's a very great message you have given that no opponent is difficult, just we have to prepare it in the right way to win the game. Great. Uh, yes. Like, I'm making it too narrow down. So, what is your favorite chess opening? Um, there are a lot of chess in my life. Yeah, like you prefer to play if given a chance only one game. Um, okay. From white, uh, I like to start with a D4 and maybe Catalan, I can say okay, for now. Okay. And, and from with black, 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 I really 44, like 44, if I play E4, then. From black, I, I like to play the main lines, but I was very uh, fond of playing the perk defense. Oh. So I like it very much. Even though I have, uh, I play the main lines like Sicilian and E4, E5. I, right. there, so there are some things you like. So it's, a, it's one of the openings that I like to play from black. Okay, oh, sure. And what, yeah. like, what kind of playing style do you prefer? Like, is it a closed game, open game, defensive, aggressive? So what kind of gameplay you like? Um, if I have to choose, first of all, the format, I would like to say that I like classical games more uh, than the Blitz and uh, Bullet, because I think that my style is uh, more positional. And OK, if I have to play, I can play. But uh, if I have to choose, I would certainly choose classical games. Class the very long format because I like to think and play and uh, provide like like show a good quality chess on the board and I feel that um, I am a little bit flexible if the position demands uh, attack then I can be aggressive if um, it demands more positional then I can play like that so I think that um, my strength can be flexibility to adapting to different positions and also, I have, I feel that I am very good at tactics as well. Uh, so in the middle of the session, we would like to take one question of the viewers. Like okay. uh, Reva said, uh, chess requires a lot of patience and a calm mind. So how do you manage to be so poised and calm while playing a game? Um, yes, it, like, it requires a lot of patience because the classical games that uh, generally I play um, last for more than five hours. And it requires a lot of patience, but also experience helps. So um, since I was playing from a very uh, young age, I developed this uh, habit of playing. But I suggest that um, it, also, it can also be cultivated by uh, training. So even if you're working, let's say, or even if you're studying, try to st try to do it for longer times. It might be difficult in the beginning. Let's say half an hour can be difficult when you're starting on day one. But let's say on day 10, you do it two hours, then more, and day 50. So try to do it. And it's quite possible to develop this habit. So try taking less breaks. And uh, the challenge is to yourself here, not anybody else. So you can feel it inside if you are doing better or you need something else to do it. Right. So uh, as you said, uh, we need to improve day by day. So what kind of books do you like to suggest to us for opening middle game and end game? And what are your favorite books? Uh, yes, books, chess books. OK. So I, uh, I would not. <laughs> OK. <laughs> So, my book because uh, I have written one book. <laughs> yeah, I got. I will be coming to that question after this also. Yeah, yeah. but um, I like 
I like um, the series of producers I have grown. Then I like the book My System by Nimsovich. And I like a lot of tactics to solve, like perfect your chess, then creative chess, maybe chess cafe books. And uh, I like to solve studies and these things more. And about opening, uh, I also like to work uh, on myself with chess space and uh, keeping myself updated with all the games and uh, checking what's going on and analyzing the lines with myself with the help of computer. Right. Great. So coming to your book, like what thought process like you have managed to take up, like you are doing studies, you are well in that, you are doing chess, you are well in that and apart from that you took out a time for writing a book. So first of all, we would like to know what was your thought process behind that to write a book and then afterwards you can elaborate why, what is the content of that book and what is in it. Yes, okay. So I was studying, uh, I was uh, playing professionally, but I was also interested in doing a lot of other things. And in this uh, time, like in this time of last 10 years, let's say even more than that, I uh, did a lot of things like I was writing blogs, writing actively articles. I was writing for a newspaper for more than a year. And um, it was because I like to do all these things. I'm interested to explore different uh, fields. And um, I think a few years ago, I, I, was even work, I was even writing for some websites and apps and these things. And uh, I was approached um, to write a book. And uh, it, I thought that this is a great challenge. And it took a long time to do that. I think more than six months. And it's a completely original book that it's about puzzles, but all the puzzles I uh, got in that book are completely new. I had to go over like 10,000 of chess games, find content for that book. So it was a very long process. And, um, but I thought I will do it, let's see. And yes, it's a very beautiful book. And <laughs> I had a very positive review, but I did not write after that. That was uh, the one thing that I enjoyed doing some years back. Great, great. So like we would like to share our viewers that if you want, you can go through that book. It's uh, gone been a lot of effort of 10,000 plus games. Yeah, so, okay, so, like, uh, who are the chess players that you like to follow and why, like, what are their game strategies do you like in them? Um, I can say, can I say myself? <laughs> yeah, sure, of course you are, you are, no doubt. But there are some idols that you are follow, like Magnus Carlsen is following Gary Kasparov, so he's also open about it. So, what about you? Um, since I was young, I used to look up, look up to Vichyamathan Anand because he is our idol and uh, to all the Indians, he, we are very proud of him for what he has achieved. And uh, yes, I look up to him, uh, but uh, it's I don't have particular uh, players that I follow, but I like to look at the games that are going uh, going all around the world and try to uh, learn something from them. And um, yes, I think that we have to learn from um, uh, everybody. But yes, when I was a kid, when I was younger, I used to look up to Vishwanathan Anand and also uh, Bobby Fisher and uh, Judith Polker because she, she was an inspiration uh, and also Kasparov. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so uh, like one of uh, like our viewers question was that see, our rating has been stagnant to like 1500 levels so how to improve that they are playing games but they are not able to improve the rating so what strategy you would like to suggest for them yes this is a, a typical concern for all the players on all the stages that at some right. point we feel ourselves stagnant it doesn't matter where we are even if we are on 1000 rating or 1500 or 2000 or even 2500 some point we face this that um, it's very difficult to push uh, from that point but i think the answer is that we have to change what we have been doing if we keep continue doing the same things we will be on the same level 
So um, even for me, I realized that, okay, I have been working and I have been training, but if I'm doing in the same way, the results will be same. So I have to uh, change something. It doesn't matter. I have to change, have a new approach. Maybe uh, if even if working, work in a different way, or maybe uh, if I'm working too much on middle games, I have to um, change this and work more on openings or end games. But uh, for this particular question, let's say for 1500 player, I would suggest that um, that um, you can um, study more tactics because at that level, you need to first get a more good understanding of the middle games and try to solve a lot of tactics because um, for me, I used to solve uh, tactics every day, almost every day. And uh, that helped me then and also even today. I don't stop it. Every day I try to work on tactics. And uh, that really helps because uh, you calculate and you spend a lot of energy on this. And this is something we get in our games. So we recognize the patterns. Even if we don't get the same positions, we see the patterns. And we get this intuition or we find we grow this feeling for our games. So that is a good way to start, I think. And there are many ways you can you can uh, buy books or right now uh, you can easily find material online. You can um, make accounts on any of the chess websites and I am sure that they offer plenty of uh, puzzles and books. Right, got, got it, got it. Yeah, so uh, like I wanted to ask like what uh, you are been like very active in promoting the chess through various activities in your district as well as the Maharashtra level. So like what kind of activities are you going to and what is your objective behind that? Uh, yes, that is true that um, I, I am very much serious about promoting chess. Uh, it started from the beginning because when I started playing chess at the age of six, there were uh, there was no chess culture, at least in my city. And there were no, uh, not many chess players or uh, any tournaments. And uh, when I won the first nationals, um, that was the first time that my school introduced chess, uh, like um, in, in the syllabus. So that was the first time that uh, after I become national champion, they uh, introduced chess. And I realized that uh, chess is still not popular uh, here. And uh, since that time, I have been taking part in promotions, in attending events, in playing a simultaneous chess against uh, many people. I have uh, been part of many simultaneous chess events and also helping and um, spreading this uh, beautiful game to everybody. And uh, OK, it's not my uh, single person's effort, but I can say that I'm a contributor to all the people around the world who are trying to change this situation. And it's been, um, it's it's happening as we can see that uh, before 10 years, the situation was different and even now. So um, not one person can change, but we can put in small efforts in our own way. And even um, even today I see that just a small example of my own city, that um, there are many more chess players here. And it has to start from somewhere. So we need to motivate someone, or we need to teach one person. Even if we all teach one person, we we are creating so many new players. So that's what And it's a very nice game. And everybody should learn, at least know the rules, how to play. And that's what I believe in. And that's why I have been doing this for a very long time. Right, right. So, are you also coaching someone? Uh, yes, I am coaching. Uh, as a, I'm working as a part-time coach. Oh. But, uh, yes, because, um, the idea was to um, help. Promote. Yes, yes. Yeah, we got you. Uh, yeah. So, like, uh, like generally, chase is a pursuit as a very serious game. As you said, it needs a lot of concentration, patience, and all that stuff. But like most of the people don't know, there is a fun part also, as in anti chase, crazy house supply, and all the stuff. So like, yes. like, would you also like to play that game, or do you play that game for like getting relaxation? Um, I won't deny that I have never played, 
because uh, like all the chess players know they like to at least when the tournament ends or when they are with a friend they like to play these different variants of chess but uh, after okay so very rarely i play these days uh, but uh, the now i am more into like um like solving like on chess com there is puzzle rush or puzzle battles i like to play that okay yes because uh, this is fun this is fun to play but uh, it's not professional to do it so okay one one thing like year or six months maybe but uh, very rare oh, got it. so like on the occasion of like international chess day like what message you want to convey through this platform to our viewers uh yes today is a great day to celebrate for all of us for all the chess players and um i know that we all have been going through this very difficult time and okay i would like to tell everybody that uh, we all are going through the same situation so it's not uh, just uh, anybody single person or single community so first of all we need to fight this uh, very difficult situation by being together and by staying at home and following the rules and uh, and we hope that this situation will change soon and i feel very very extremely bad about this that uh, it has affected so many millions of people all around the world but uh, about this day uh, we have chess and i think chess is one of the very few sports which is still going on right now uh, because uh, it is possible to play this game online so we still uh, can do it and uh, i believe that this situation is going to change it's not going to last forever so what we can do is we can use this time to make ourselves better in every way whatever we are doing uh, be it uh, be uh, playing chess or any other things even if in chess we can train every day and um, of course there are not much distractions right now so we can use this time and um, now there are a lot of events happening online even uh, today you organize this um, event on chess so we have a lot of hopes for this game even through this situation and uh, i would say that um, let's from more let's learn chess let's teach somebody chess somebody chess and um, we have this so be united through this game together all over the world and we can keep playing more tournaments and um, promoting more great great so one last question from the audience you would like to take like uh, which tournament we would like to play after this quarantine gets over what was your target um, first big tournament first i would like to ask them which is the first tournament that i can play <laughs> maybe because i would like to take the first opportunity uh, that i can after this um, period is over because i just uh, finished my second norm and i am very much looking forward that i achieve my third wgm norm and complete my title before uh, i had i had made a goal before this year that i wanted to complete it this year but let's see uh, when i can get a chance to do it until then i i will try to work on myself and keep myself in a good form when uh, when i can actually play yeah thank you thank you so much aruta ma'am like i have you like very best of luck for your third gm norm and we know that you surely complete it very soon thank you so much we are like It's our pleasure to having us for on this occasion of International Day. Thank you from the yes. behalf of thank you today. and good luck to you and uh, keep organizing chess tournaments like this because it will uh, because organizing tournaments like this uh, really will help uh, all the chess players and motivate them to look forward to something and right. compete. So it's a good idea not just today but if you can maybe also. uh you can make this happen even more right great great thank you thank you so much for your time welcome yeah